<coughs> Hello, I'm Rod Fightmaster, board certified and retired psychiatrist. And today, I'm going to talk about the four reasons I've identified in my time as a medical student and then as a resident physician, which I think motivate people to go to medical school, including my reason, which ultimately caused me to leave medicine. Reason number one, people go to medical school, altruism. These people are the physicians. These are the ones who have the story on interview day where they were four years old, they picked up a stethoscope and they knew they were gonna be a doctor. These are the folks who end up becoming chief resident. These are the people who I knew while I was with them, they loved their job. This group, I believe, makes up about 50% of all people that go to medical school. Reason number two, people go to medical school, power. Let's face it, the scalpel feels pretty good in the hand. That prescription pad fits pretty nice in the white coat. It's pretty cool when people call you a doctor. People thank you for saving their lives nearly every day. It's a really cool job. It comes with a lot of social capital and it provides you great standing in the hierarchy of achievement. And honestly, I would guess about 20% of all people that I trained with would fall into this category. Reason number three, people go into medical school money. I've got an investment idea for you. <laughs> Say, over four years, you got to donate all your time. You can't make any money during these four years. And you got to pay $200,000 to the government. Then, for the majority of the years after residency, which is, you know, give or take another three to seven years, you're going to make at a bare minimum $200,000. And then you can make that in perpetuity. So yes, you're donating a lot of time, you're donating a lot of money, but can you find another investment? that provides that kind of rate of return. I would guess about 10% of people fit in that category. Reason number four, people go to medical school. Fear. That is a picture of me during my white coat ceremony a couple of weeks after I started medical school. It was easier for me to go to medical school, complete a residency program, earn a board certification in psychiatry than it was to go chase my dream. What was I scared of? Sure, ridicule, um, acceptance, those are things I thought of, but really what I was afraid of the most was owning my own life. I was scared of the consequences of what it could mean if I didn't want to be a doctor. What it would mean to people around me. What it would say to me about myself. I didn't want to let my family down. I didn't want to let my self-image down. And I didn't want to let the world down. Interestingly, I've learned a few things. Number one, I am not that important. Nobody's gonna remember my name in 100 years. Number two, the best way that I can serve the people that I love and the people that I care about is if I'm the best version of myself. And oftentimes, me being the best version of myself requires me to go after what I want with all I got. And medicine was never that for me. Ultimately, that's why I love medicine, because I needed to find out what it is that I want to go do with my life. So, if any of that sounds familiar to you, if any of those four reasons sound off, if you can think of some more reasons, I'd love to hear it in the comments section. I write about this subject, I write about my journey, I write about how I got out of medicine and what I plan to do in the future over on my website, fightmastermd.com. You can also follow me on social media, uh, anywhere at fightmastermd. Drop a comment and let's have a conversation. It's a complicated conversation.